Here we are back at the Mossy Palm Provider Kitchen. I got owner and founder Brad Arrington, head turkey slayer, Hunter Boatwright. This is the man right here. If y'all want to come down to Mossy Pond Hunts, book a turkey hunt and make sure you request hunting with Hunter. He showed out the last three days, put them on the ground, and now we're gonna put them in the grease, put them on the grill. We got two recipes. You're gonna be able to find these in the Provider Cookbook, available November 9th, 2021. You're gonna be able to buy it all over the country, in stores and on Amazon. We're so proud of it. One of them is gonna be the wild turkey bacon wrap skewers, and the other one is gonna be wild turkey nuggets. We're gonna use a breading that's gonna consist of flour, as well as some of our Provider rubs. We're gonna be using these two rubs right here, the dragon and the fowl. I'm gonna let Jennifer and my man Lowe take over. They're gonna throw down. We're gonna put together an awesome meal. We're gonna celebrate the turkeys. We hunt, we eat it. It's from the field to the fork to the table. We love knowing where our food comes from. We love living off the land. And when you're able to go out and be lucky enough to have awesome turkey hunters alongside you in the blind, put one up and we get to enjoy it with friends and family. That's what living off the land is all about, being a provider. You can check out more recipes at theproviderlife.com. We appreciate all the support of our dry rubs and the cookbook. I'm Chad Belding for my man Lowe, Brad Arrington, Mr. Hunter Boatwright. We'll talk to y'all soon. We've been working with Mossy Pond Retrievers for years. Brad and Ellen and Lee and Clark, the entire crew down there in Georgia have become like family to us. And now Brad has come up with an entirely new segment of his business, Mossy Pond Outfitters. He's offering turkey hunts, pheasants, chuckers, ducks, wild hogs, deer, bass fishing. The property is beautiful. It's an unbelievable experience. And we were excited to get after these Eastern turkeys down there. Joining me will be my good buddy, Bobby Johnson from Nashville, Tennessee. I couldn't wait to hear him pick the guitar and sing some songs around the fire. We are starting off our spring 2021 turkey season, Mossy Pond Outfitters, South Georgia. Let's roll. She lets me park my tractor in her barn. So last week they wasn't, they wasn't talking much, but the last few days, uh, they've been they've been real responsive. They come into the decoys good right now. So maybe in the morning we can knock one out. We always come right here, so we're hid. Birds can't see in the back of that field because it's got a rise. We climb top of this pivot and we'll scan the back of this field and see if there's a bird out there. It's beautiful up here. You tell spring's really a lot further along here than it is in Tennessee. Loves her Friday nights, lazy Saturdays. <laughs> Sunday school on time, loves to hear granddaddy say grace. Cooks cornbread and fried green tomatoes, sweet tea, peas, and potatoes. She's home. Good morning from Georgia. We're fixing to go listen for a gobble. Try to get a bird to come to us this morning. It's the first hunt of the year for me. Uh, we're down here at uh, Mossy Pond Retrievers. They got some turkeys supposedly tied to trees. So we're gonna go listen for one and try to get one to come our way. And uh, put the old TSS Federal smack down on.
TSS put the fire on him. Burnt down. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Good job on putting a good plan together. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hunter, you're amazing at what you do. We're gonna get this thing back to camp, get her breasted out. We'll probably eat this tonight, won't we? Oh yeah. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to get back to the lodge. Right show the guys, man. I feel like I'm a provider. Do you feel like you're a provider? Yes, sir. Thank you for providing me with a good hunt, man. South Georgia, amazing. Now we can go back to the lodge, eat some turkey, and celebrate. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. Feeling real good and the people start singing along. The floor gets quaking when the women get shaking when they hear that lethal often song. Make some little music with a whiskey, it'll make us all wanna holler, little lot of hell. Cause this life ain't for everybody. It's all about a cold show about time finally my turn been letting Bobby J get after him the first couple days he finally closed the deal last night him and my boy Hunter probably about 400 yards from where we're at right now there's two big gobblers that that have been roosting right here so it's a different kind of morning it's dead still foggy and uh, just real real swampy feeling just like what you would think hunting. it's almost like Osceola hunting in Florida I feel like right now so here I go I'm just gonna follow in the footsteps of my buddy Hunter. I'm gonna follow his lead, do what he says, close the deal on a Georgia bird, and then we headed to Nashville. Y'all stay tuned. Tipped over or what? Did that TSS knock him out or what? <laughs> Dude, he, I'm telling you, I mean, that bird did not even move a muscle after that TSS hit him. Did I do right? Guaranteed. Huh? Huh? <laughs> he was right here. He finally seen that decoy. It was over. Look at this, boy. What's up, Hunter? Huh? Oh, you have a good bird, baby. Oh, look right here. Look here. <laughs> look at this, huh? I think I done shot his beard off. You got a little bit of a beard. Oh, I tore his beard up. But look, he's got a 10-inch beard. Hey, pretty. Big old Georgia Easter. Oh, Lordy. He gonna be good fried up. Huh? We gonna go fry him up right now. We done at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I love it. The thing about it is that we didn't get a whole lot of them coming in because look at our hide behind us. He said, let's go ahead and hide by this dozer right here. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go get by this scraper. Damn it, boy. What a freaking morning.
This is a perfect example of the provider mentality. We're lucky enough to harvest these Eastern turkeys just that morning in Georgia. And now here we are in the Mossy Pond kitchen with Mr. Lowell, Miss Joni, our very own Jennifer Swenson, throwing down on a couple wild turkey recipes that are gonna be in the upcoming provider cookbook. Bacon wrap, wild turkey skewers, wild turkey nuggets. These guys nailed them. It was awesome to see our wild food go from the field to the table and all of the smiles on our faces. We got our bacon wrap skewers. And with those, all we're gonna do is take some turkey, put it on a wooden stick, and we got them in bite-sized pieces. We're gonna wrap that bacon around each piece of turkey. And then I got a toothpick where I'm kinda, thanks mom for the sewing skills. I am going to go ahead and hold that tight. So when I cook that, it's gonna be nice and flat. So we're gonna get that going. All together, it's gonna look like one of these guys when we're done. Now we got our mix. And this one is just honey. So whatever you got in the fridge, in your cabinet, we're gonna mix that with some fowl seasoning. I'm gonna warm that up in the microwave for about 30 seconds so it's a little bit easier to paint with. It's not so thick. And then I am just going to rub that all over, all the way around. Make sure we paint it all. We are just gonna put a dab of that on the top of it. and then we're gonna go put those on the grill. All right, I'm gonna pass these off to Lo here in the kitchen. He's gonna put them on the Traeger for us, get, cook them for about 15, 20 minutes. You're a love. All right, guys, while those are on the Traeger finishing up, we are gonna go ahead and do these really quick wild turkey nuggets. This couldn't be an easier dish for you to get on the table for your kids really quick. You can use it for an appetizer, whatever it is that you want. So we cut the nuggets um, using the turkey breast and all the turkey meat, uh, the same size that we did on the skewers. Now, after that, we're gonna put them and soak them in a little bit of evaporated milk. We're gonna wrap that and throw that in the fridge and let it sit for six hours. Uh, whatever extra time you can give it. After that, we are going to drain it. So I'm gonna use some tongs really quick and throw some in here. Um, after we drain that out, we are gonna go ahead and toss them in our breadcrumb mixture. This is easy, not seasoned breadcrumbs. You can find that in any grocery store. We're gonna use that and I did a 50-50 mixture of our provider rubs. We got the dragon rub and our fowl rub. We're gonna mix that together. And as soon as we're done and these are nice and drained, we're gonna throw those in that breadcrumb mixture. Give them a quick toss. All right, I'm gonna hand these off to Mr. Lowe. We got a deep fryer ready to go at 350. All he's gonna do is throw those straight into the fryer and cook them for about two minutes and we are done. If you got to feed to walk down the street, it's a good life that you've been given. Oh, there's happy and sad, good and bad, but I believe the good is winning. Life is better, oh, if you keep on winning, keep on winning. Um, you're gonna serve those with your favorite dipping sauce, whatever that is, barbecue sauce, ranch, honey mustard, anything that you got in your fridge, and dinner is served. All right, we got our first taste tester in the house. Grayson over here, son of Mossy Pond owners. You wanna try one of these for us tonight? Yes, ma'am. What's that? Look. Good stuff? Real good? Oh yeah, baby. Just came off the grill. I've always said that I feel that the lifestyle of the provider, the hunter, the gatherer is the coolest lifestyle one can live. To live off the land, whether you garden or raise your own beef or chicken or pork or you hunt, you fish, you know where your food comes from. We have respect for the resource, compassion for the animals we pursue. And now look at this experience we're getting to have in South Georgia with Team Mossy Pond. Smiles, stories, memories, love, friends, family. It's unbelievable to me. It gives me goosebumps, no pun intended. 
I want to thank Brad and Ellen and Lee and Clark and Hunter and Joni and Mr. Lowell and everybody that helped us in this part of Georgia to get on these turkeys, stay on the turkeys, get to eat these turkeys, and just share in this experience of the provider lifestyle. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Check us out at theproviderlife.com. And don't forget the Provider Cookbook, November 2021. We truly appreciate all of the support. <music>